The legend lives on from the Chippewa hunt town of the big lake they call Kitchigumi. The lake it is sad never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good shipping crew was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north when they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound and a wave it broke over the railing. And every man knew as the captain did too. Was the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind When supper time came the old cook came on deck Saying fellow it's too rough to feed you At 7 p.m. My main hatchway caved in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya The captain wired in He had water coming in And the ship and the crew was in Peru And later that night When the lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and sons and the daughters In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the maritime sailors cathedral The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down all the big lake they call Gitchagumi and today the bells rang another 29 times plus one more for the man they call Lightfoot.